Welcome, welcome, welcome. So today, I'm gonna talk about costochondritis. I suffered from this for over a year and a half. This really sucks. To put it into perspective how much it hurts, you probably know since you're watching this video, 30% of the people that go to the hospital thinking they're having a heart attack have costochondritis. It really hurts. What it is, it's inflammation of the junction where the cartilage meets the sternum. It can be at the junction where the cartilage meets the rib. Um, and it's usually due to lock, like the spine is really locked up. Now it can, you can get a flare up for a bunch of different reasons. So I'll explain why I got a flare up. So I was going through a really hard time in my life. I was stressed out from school, relationship issues, um, real, like some, ser some serious things were happening in my life. And I had a very traumatic upbringing. I was popping Tylenols like they were Skittles because um, I had chronic back pain at the time. I had very bad sciatica. I suffered from this for a while. Um, I was insecure about, I was very hard on myself. You know, I was uh, like my own worst enemy. Like I would do something and I'd be like, that is shit. And then I would praise other people for doing something that is least as, like less good as what I would do, but I would still praise other people more than myself. So I was my own worst enemy, relationship issues, um, also I was dealing with, this is important, very personal information, but I'm going to say it. Um, me and my girlfriend, she had an abortion and that was really hard on me. Um, and if you think of the area, like it's the heart is right here, the heart and the lungs. Uh, I was a smoker for a long time. I smoked weed and cigarettes both for over a decade. So that's hard on the lungs. So all of these things were just, you know, I was they just all added up and then I, I went to a festival and I was in a mosh pit all day I was on painkillers and then I slept like this like super super like constricted so all this pressure was on my chest and I woke up boom I had costochondritis I had a bad flare-up and it's terrible now it's an autoimmune condition basically because it's self attacking self Itis means inflammation, and it just flared up out of nowhere. Like, I mean, all these things happen. So it's like a physical thing that happened, a bunch of mental things, and it's just like my body's like, okay, stress response, boom. So how did I heal? First, um, I didn't know how to heal at first. I seen the doctor, I got x-rays. They didn't know what was going on. Um, I researched and I found I figured out what it was by doing some research. Um, I ordered a back pod, which is like this hundred and twenty dollar little pod that you lay down and you you crack your spine. See, so the the ribs that meet the the vertebrae here get super super tight, and because of that, you um here gets overused. So because it's so tight here and it's locked up, the ribs are locked up in the vertebrae, then the sternum and the junctions here get overworked. So the back pod is to break this stuff up, the thoracic spine. So I made my own with a yoga block and then I lie down and I put it here on my spine and then I open up and I, cr I crack it as much as I can. I do stretches like this and I twist and I turn and I did all the things. You just heard a couple cracks maybe. I was doing this all the time. I was massaging out the chest, working out the tight muscles, but I really didn't heal until I dealt with my internal issues, my emotions. I had to love myself. I had to figure out how to love myself. If you really want to heal from anything, it's going to be, most things are associated with some kind of trauma, some kind of childhood trauma that's linked with the physical thing. So I don't know how you acquired costochondritis, but if you really want to heal, you have to love yourself. And I forgot to mention, I tried all the diets. I tried vegan, keto, I tried fasting, I did cleanses, I did juice fast, I stopped eating sugar. And I still didn't heal. It helped. 
I also seen all kinds of practitioners. I got acupuncture, massage, chiro, physio. It was me. I had the power to heal myself all along. It wasn't the food. It wasn't all these external things. It was internal emotions. I had to love myself. And once I began to love myself, the more and more I loved myself, the less and less pain I had, the less and less inflammation. Now, diet is a big role, okay? Like if I'm eating tomatoes and sugar and I, like if I eat some french fries from a rest, like a restaurant, I'll get inflammation, like anyone will. So that, that'll exacerbate the symptoms a bit. So watch your diet, but love yourself. And then, you know, break up any stagnations in this area. Make sure you're stretching getting movement at each transverse process, each vertebra, make sure that none of these ribs are locked up. Okay, you need to unlock all the ribs here. You need to stretch out the chest. You need to twist the spine. Twist the spine, stretch the chest, massage, use a back pod or whatever, a foam roller. Foam roller is a good thing. And if you're using all these things with good emotions and a good diet and you love yourself, you will heal from your costochondritis. All right? 100%. So, God bless. And if you're here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would be a big help if this video helped you at all. And uh, yeah, have a beautiful day.